What's good everybody welcome back to another video it's your state today Lux King and today we're back with another video for the Victor Road beta So if you guys are excited for this video make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe um, And we're just gonna be going through some news All right, so first off, let's see um, By the way shout out to Pega to Baker Chan um, because they posted this on their Twitter and so we got it translated and such everything here So let's just see what we got here first off um, let's see the beta bug and balance fixes are ready and could possibly be released tomorrow But story is also nearly ready, so they may be released at the same time That is awesome They've been fixing boxes and balance have been balancing some stuff and There's potential we could potentially get them tomorrow. However, the story is also almost ready So they might wait they might hold that off so they can release that now this next news I saw this and you don't want to know how happy I was Beta and Protocol Omega 2.0 kit will be released and then Titan also put in Lux King is very happy right now. You dang right. You're dang right. I'm happy, bro Beta should have been here since day one literally her name is beta It doesn't make sense that she wasn't here before but the queen is getting here now. I'm ready to really shred online You don't want to know how happy I am, bro. the day she comes out. I'm maxing her out and everything. I don't care Beta is beta is coming here, bro. Ah, oh, uh, that, oh, I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy. So yeah, that's that's like top tier news already. Like it can't get better. But we still got a lot more to go to. So let's see. If you disconnect, you will not be classed. At, you will not be classed as losing. And your if your opponent disconnects, you shall receive all items received up until that point in the match. Okay, calm down, bro. Lux, calm down. All right, I know you're hyped for beta dropping, but I gotta calm down and just read what it says here. Oh, dang. <laughs> okay, so um, basically. There was an issue that people would disconnect in matches and so you would not get the items nor get points or such now luckily they have fixed that so if you are disconnecting if you're disconnecting now you will be losing points and your opponent will get the items they got up until the part of the match so hey that's pretty good because that definitely was an issue with people losing matches and then they would just leave so you know, that's pretty good you can now surrender in a match we'll still receive items if you surrender okay so that's pretty cool so yeah, so that's pretty cool. So now people, I mean, they can still rage quit, obviously, but they can also just like, um, they can also just surrender in a match, and so they don't have to keep playing it, and you still get the items, which is actually kind of cool. So that means if you're gonna rage quit, you won't get the items and lose points, but if you just surrender, you will still lose points, obviously, but you will get the items. So you know, that is still that's actually pretty nice. Update that hopes to reduce lag, also very important because there have been matches that have been very laggy. But there have also been matches that have been good, so I think they can definitely like do that pretty easily. UI changes makes it easier to edit teams. All actions such as moving players can now be done under training. Okay, that is also pretty nice because sometimes it's annoying to like change all of that up, so that's pretty good. You can now see the model for what uniform and equipment looks like in the shop. Okay, pretty nice, pretty nice. There will be a match history tab where you can see the results of past matches. That's pretty nice, that's pretty nice. Okay, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Advanced judge setting. In the case of a tie... A winner will be chosen by judgment. Ooh, okay, so it will depend on more stuff then. So if it's a tie. Mmm. That's actually pretty cool because I've seen tournaments happen and such. And then what would happen is um normally it's like best out of um best out of three. But like if the third match if like both opponents not both opponents, both teams got like one um, one point and then they tie in the last match, normally it would be like an like a final round, whoever scores first, you know. But this actually makes it a bit more, I guess, fair because I don't know. It's just it's just a lot better, I think, personally. So that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool for tournaments and such too. The time will not the time will not progress correctly when special taxes are taking place. Okay. The time will not progress correctly during the phases of a match. Okay. Cool. Cool. Moves UI is being changed to so where a move can be used, and if a move is a shot chain or a shot block is now shown. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Players won't be offside as often. For example, when your forwards aren't being controlled, they won't go offside as much, so you can easily long pass to them from the midfield and take a shot with a forward who was offside and wasn't being marked. Okay, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. Okay, okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So that they basically make it a bit more tougher, which, hey, I'm definitely up for that because you got the offside bonus and everything. So I think that's definitely actually pretty something pretty good. A true pass has been implemented. By holding the B button, you can use the cursor to choose where to pass. Nice. Bridge, the breach rate for you and your opponent will be clearly shown. Okay, so... Okay, wait. Actually, I see something more about breach. So, I will get to this in a little bit. 
Before, if you had enough tension before a shot change, a breach could occur. Now you need enough tension at the end of a shot change to do the breach. So if you use the Hitsatsu and don't have enough tension for a breach after the Hitsatsu, the move will not breach. Okay, yeah, because this is definitely something that people have been complaining about, and that's the fact that breaches are a thing in the game. And so, it doesn't seem like they're, they've somewhat nerfed it, it seems like. So first of all, you will be able to see the breach rate, so you can, so you kind of have like a feeling to like how big the chance that they will get a breach, which I think is very good already, because the only way to counter, the only way to currently counter breaches is by using the Invincible Keeper card, which always was a gamble because you don't, you never know when they might get a breach, which it really does suck. So now at least, like for example, if you see like somebody has a 70% for getting a breach, now you could be like, okay, let me activate the Invincible Keeper card to like block that, you know? So I think that's good. Now, this other part, like they said, before if you had enough tension before a shot chain, a breach could occur. Now you need enough tension at the end of the shot chain. Okay. Um, I, that's pretty cool. I think I... I don't know exactly what they mean with that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I haven't, like, experimented too much with breaches yet, like, building teams specifically with breaches and such. So I'm not too sure how, how that worked before, but I think that sounds kind of like a bit of a nerf. So that's actually pretty good. If you beat a higher level team than yours in rank, you get more XP and this is displayed after winning a match. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, basically another way to get more XP in the game. So that's pretty nice. And we got some more stuff. We got some more stuff. You no longer have to wait for spectators to radio up in the lobby to start a match. I didn't know that was an issue. I haven't had that issue before when I, uh, people were um, spectating, but hey, that's good. There's a height password, for, so there's a height password setting for streams to hide the code in a lobby. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Players will now have one is to a level one. That's cool too if you start the game because indeed there has been the issue kind of where some characters would not have an Itsato at the beginning of the game when you start. So, like out of my head, I remember instantly like Scotty did not have Whirlwind four, so that kind of like you know, that's kind of like huh. Players will now have one hit start to a level one. Like I said, added stamp emote functions to room matches. That's pretty nice. I can't wait to see those. As the level fifty masters match, alias masters rat match. So, level 50 is gonna be added very soon. That is gonna be insane. Because, uh, I haven't even- My team is not even level 30 yet, I'm telling you right now. So, that's gonna be a lot of grinding we have to do. Um, out of new Hitsatsus. They did say that they were- They did say that they were gonna try and add more Hitsatsus as well. So, I assume once we get to level 50, our characters will be able to get- Learn a couple more new moves, so that's actually pretty cool. And then other bug fixes, be sure to read Pegasus Gen tweet for more info. This is all from Twitter Francis information, so if there's anything I missed, it's clarifying due to mistranslation, I'll sure to update you all. So that's basically all the news we got. Again, very good news. This is very nice to see. The game has been out for over has been out for like eight days right now. And look at everything they've already done in those eight days. This is definitely this is definitely like awesome. This is awesome for the community. Cause like really, like again, the beta has been out for a week. It has been out for a week, but they have been doing so much stuff already. Like, it's awesome. Along with the news of, like, obviously, like, Beta and Protocol Mega Kids being released, I'm, again, I'm very fucking happy. Like, I'm very happy. And then, of course, also, we might get a, we might get the next update much sooner than we expected. Because, like, honestly, I know they said April and May, but I did not expect it to be, like, literally, like, almost, like, a week after. So, like, we might be expecting that very soon. So, that's going to be very cool. Anywho, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, very good news, very good news. I'm happy, I'm very happy. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.